High flying hearts took just six minutes to open the scoring. David Weir's header sneaking in at the near post. Stevie Fulton with the corner kick. Weir out jumps McGowan. And Meldrum won't enjoy seeing that again. The man who created that goal, Steve Fulton, heavily involved in this game. He almost scored himself with the header. Meldrum slapping it away and Kilmarnock surviving unscathed. The game was virtually over as a contest in only the 14th minute thanks to this drive from Jim Hamilton. 2-0 to the Jambos. Hamilton Hearts leading Hitman 97-98. Adams flick on and that's Hamilton's fifth goal of the season. Paul Wright scored from the penalty spot in Killy's last three games. He's always a danger from the dead ball situation. That was a rare highlight for Killy though. Hearts keeping up the pressure and Colin Cameron's chance had the Ayrshire support booing their own defence. The well, Scotland European Cup winners Cup representatives did have some chances to score. Stephen Hamilton won't get much closer than that. He really got his weight behind that shot. Rousse perhaps thankful that he didn't get a hand to that one. Well, hopes of a Kilmarnock comeback were wiped out two minutes before the break. Hamilton the provider this time for Stefan Adam. The Frenchman makes it 3-0 to Jim Jeffrey's side. It just wasn't Colin Meldrum's day. Montgomery's backward header pushed on by Hamilton and Adam did the rest. Well, Kilmarnock had most of the second half possession. Alex Burke sent through. The angled pass to Ali Mitchell. He had only Rousse to beat but the keeper was positioning, winning this particular battle. Hearts three up and coasting, and we haven't even mentioned Neil McCann. He set up a great scoring chance for Stefan Adam, and that should have been his second goal, but a real good save from Colin Meldrum. McCann again on the ball. It falls for Colin Cameron this time. He thinks about a shot, plays it back for Fulton, and that's wide, but Hearts had won comfortably by that time.